It's hump day, hump day, hump day, hump day. What's good, fellas? Hey. How's it going? I mean, I can't believe Bryce actually made it on the show tonight. He is now famous via that beautiful Gucci uh, gear he's got rocking today. So, man, you went viral. That's not surprising. I thought it was so dope. I mean, obviously, you had been talking the back channels with myself and Will, and Will obviously, it sounds like, convinced you to do it. I think it was genius. It was. I thought your tweets were well done. And obviously, like, they just went, they fucking blew up, which is hilarious. So I'm glad you're here. We didn't have to pay you yet, so that's good, Um, because we're making $0 so far. If you want to sponsor Ford TV, uh, hit us up, and uh, we might be able to have Bryce again. Yeah, go Gucci. Sponsor us. (laughs) Yeah, Gucci. We accept ApeCoin, so we can all, you know, I think we we like the 10K TF Gucci shirts. You know, we could could rock the trio. Yeah, Um, for sure. (laughs) Y'all should, y'all should definitely get one. We, we could definitely match. That would not be uncool at all. That would be well, no, I'll get the yellow one and you oh, can get okay. the yeah. So I mean, at least it'll be like a pack of Skittles or something. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. So again, it's obviously the first week in August, which is crazy as well. It feels like the summer kind of went fast. Obviously, I say summer because I'm a teacher. So when I hit August, it's like, oh shoot, time to go back and teach some kids. So excited to talk about a bunch of stuff. Um, shoot, Gucci, Ape Coin interviews other stuff. i mean there's a lot for the last week considering we're so used to like radio silence within yuga that like when there's this many things it almost feels like overwhelming <laughs> sort of yeah. they just like turned on well not even yeah i don't know like it's not like previously when it was like ape coin drop and then it was like other side and then it was everything and like it was like getting blasted by a fire hose of information where I don't know if you remember that, but they started dropping like other side information. Like first yeah. when the website went live and everyone was just scrambling and like the tweets were flying in and you couldn't keep up with the tweets fast enough and read through the article and everything like that. I mean, that was some serious coordination. Now this recent, you know, grouping of things is interesting. The timing is definitely uh, interesting. It's definitely like, it was it's forced, yeah, okay. That's actually we'll just leave it there. But I thought it was really cool. And obviously, the first thing we're going to talk about is how uh, jacked uh, Gordon is. Holy cow! Can we get your workout routine? And uh, Garga, man, we saw a picture floating around uh, the uh, atmosphere thanks to Mister Pizza it, Later. I don't and think this was edited at all, right? This 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 is definitely real. Um, yeah, that's definitely got to be real. <laughs> 100 percent not edited <laughs> i mean apparently garga is a child but in re- <laughs> but in reality gordon is is big like he's a tall dude i know he was happy that oh yeah we got the better one over there there we go that's yeah, definitely yeah. not edited at all thumbs it up legit. right there <laughs> when garga <laughs> responded and was like wtf yeah exactly so again it, uh, i guess as we get into that this was input magazine so i mean what were your takes from the you know the written interview and then if you got to check out the video what was your overall like sentiment on kind of the first like real like lengthy interview i mean i just thought it was good to kind of like see some of their words put into a similar context of like when when nicole did her interview i forget what the name of that uh oh right I remember what you're talking about. Yeah. Another news source or, or, or something. I think it was like D3 or something like that. Um, whenever she sat down and kind of sat in front of a camera and gave us like something to kind of pick apart, like it, it was refreshing, right? It was like right. a, we, we have all this like weeks and months of like no communication or like just some Twitter engagement here and there. And then to like drop some kind of like fresh – perspective you know kind of get behind the lens a little bit and see like what's actually going on uh with you guys is exciting yeah agreed kind of piggybacking off of that phil you had kind of said earlier it's cool to kind of see their personalities show through the video you know it's more than just getting their personality through twitter or even at ape fest you know to see them in this video interacting with each other making fun of each other um just gives you a new a new light on who they are as people i would i would say Agreed completely because again, like you can read all the text and like, obviously we've, we've had conversations with them in the discord um, occasionally where they'll pop in and say hi or whatever, but like to actually, you know, have an interview setting and it was lighthearted, which I appreciate it as always. Cause we like to keep things fun and entertaining. I thought it was really cool for sure. Cause it, 
you can kind of like feel them out a little bit more. Not that I didn't trust what they've been doing. Obviously, I'm a Yuga Maxi, but I think to see them and hear them talk, uh, and you can tell they're like great friends. Like that's very, very apparent from reading the uh, interview here, the text form, as well as watching the video that they just like are good friends that had this idea and kind of the, the rest is history. And, and they even mentioned like, it's so surreal to have it just go like light speed. And they, they wish that everyone could like kind of have that experience or at least talk to those people that have had that happen so mm -hmm. that they could get perspective. And I, I, I can't even imagine, like, can you imagine like you, you have a project before NFTs are really like pumping, pumping, you come up with this idea before the art is revealed. You you've only sold a few hundred, maybe a thousand. All of a sudden the art starts revealing people start minting. And then fast forward to now, like, is that, that's a, that's gotta be a joke. Like that's absurd. Right. So like, yeah. how do you even, how, how do you like, I don't know, interact with normal humans anymore? Right. right. I'm have... like sitting here in a Gucci shirt that they basically <laughs> paid for. Like, yeah, exactly. That's so <laughs> stupid, but I love it. It's definitely perspective. And, and I think it would be um, obviously great to hear more from them. And I think we will. I think this is what they're doing too, is kind of, setting up these scenarios where they're semi in control, not in a negative sense, but in a setting where it's very professional. I loved the photos that they had too. like, this is like these photos right here from the, from the um, uh, title page is just like, I think it's great because it, it shows a little bit of their personality. So obviously they kind of go into their backstory. Um, Gordon talked a little bit about his, his, it was cool to see like his upbringing too, right? Like mm -hmm. he, you got to hear a bit about his, his father's tragic death and, and kind of like his upbringing and how he didn't necessarily love childhood and, and he went through some shit. So I think that was like, again, you like peel back the curtain a little bit and, uh, and they're human, right? Like we, we then are once again reminded that they're actually humans. Cause I think after a while we think they're the actual bored apes that they rock because we like see them occasionally. They weren't doxxed at first. That's a beautiful picture of people, by the way. I wonder how many beers from Ape Fest he's in right there. Th shout out to Ape Fest for the free, <laughs> for the free drinks. Um, but I think it was cool to see again behind the curtain and and hear about their their life a little bit. Yeah, totally, totally. I thought it was cool how uh, they kind of got into crypto together. Like Gargo was like, "Oh yeah, once I bought my first little bit of Ethereum, I texted Gordon." Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Oh, Sia. I saw, we saw her. We saw this lady in the dress. That was Sia. I saw this in this article. And I was like, oh my God. She was like 20 feet in front of us. That's definitely Sia. That's hilarious. I'd, I'd I missed this. I missed it too. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So what were you saying, Will? You you uh, you had a thought there. Yeah, so I, I, I was going to say, digging through this article, I mean, it was really more just like backstory. Um, there wasn't any like particular like alphabets that i right. was picking up on um was there anything that you maybe no i, I, I would like? agree with that it wasn't it wasn't one of those where you feel like you got information on what's to come necessarily i will say and maybe i was just you know as a board eight maxi specifically maybe i yeah maybe i'm just hoping but in the video if you watch it gordon says Oh, uh, something again, uh, this is not verbatim, but it's towards the end. He says something along the lines of like, Bored Ape is our baby. I really want that to be like, it sounded like he's very, that like he's yeah. very intentionally wants that to be like the top all the time. And that like, not that I thought that was, you know, that they weren't thinking that way, but it was kind of nice to hear that. And it definitely felt like a little something where we hadn't got a lot recently on on specifically you know board ape um, mutant ape etc and he specifically said you know board ape is our baby I, i'm looking forward to what you know we have in store so i was like sick let's go yeah, but, yeah let's buy another <laughs> board ape <laughs> i love the part too where they were talking about ape fest and they were like you know we rented out this awesome venue with right. max capacity all four nights now they're like let's move to like a coachella type event mm -hmm. but it will be really cool to see and knowing yuga in a year, they'll be able to pull that off. No problem. And it makes sense, right? Like, because think about it. If you have a Coachella event that's multi-day, maybe it's a week long, et cetera. Like you can have folks that don't have a board ape, don't have a mutant ape, don't have a kennel dog. Like they could get like normal passes basically to this event. And then like hypothetically, you know, the Yuga ecosystem would be in this like VIP section. And you'd be, and I would assume you'd get them for free. And maybe even if you couldn't go, you could sell them. And that's a little, again, a little bit of a perk so i'm i'm it's curious not surprising 
Because even this one like felt like it was a music festival, yeah. right? Like it felt that way, sort of like on a smaller stage. So I'm not surprised at all that that's kind of the way they want to go. And, and I'm looking forward to that because I think it could be massive. Yeah, I agree with the uh, apes and mutants kind of having a more VIP. That's probably where you'd have the free food, free drinks, right. kind of same treatment that we got this year at Ape Fest, but still open it up to a whole nother audience that will probably pay big money to go to Ape Fest. I can yeah. Another thing on that, though, even at like major music festivals like EDC Las Vegas, like if even if you have VIP tickets, you're not getting free alcohol and free yeah. food all night long. Right. Like that, that is a huge benefit. Right. No, it is. It is for sure. Um, definitely for sure. And one thing, uh, last little note when you talk about this is an alpha, but it was just I thought it was an interesting comment. I think this is in the video as well was basically them alluding to like nfts right now it was like the mom check and their point was like a normal person that maybe doesn't know anything about you know crypto and has little money to spend like nfts it's so far out um that they're not even close to being able to participate and them thinking about that and wanting that to be something where you know any anyone you know your neighbor uh you could walk into their house and say hey man do you want to do this thing or be a part of this and and here's how it is and it's easy right it's like it's it's like uh, going to Amazon and purchasing something and getting it delivered via Prime. Like that's kind of, you could tell that they would love obviously that to be the case too. Man, wouldn't that be something? You just one click for real done. Don't even. And have I, to think I think that. they could do some of that on the other side though, right? Like they could do some of this like season pass or game pass where it's you wouldn't have to know any. You wouldn't have to know anything about crypto if they wanted to hide it behind kind of the curtain, like dapper labs did with top shot that would just it would just be interesting and we'll see i'm definitely excited and and they talked a bit about the other side too which is i mean we're we're all very bullish it just i mean they said it's gonna take multiple years that is true so speaking of multiple years in the other article that came out today we had nicole come out with a uh a written interview or, or some written dialogue mm -hmm. from her interview um the thing that I thought was interesting is this section right here that says this is a year long roadmap while uh, discussing other side. And I, I guess they're talking about the obelisk uh, 11, 11 obelisk piece roadmap. So, right. I mean, you know, it, I was kind of a little like concerned that it would take a while to get through all 11 first trips or whatever they are mm -hmm. but um you know i don't know could they knock this out in a year i mean if you if you stuck at one a month uh you could definitely move it right along but i don't know we'll see because we still have the makeup of their uh makeup first trip dates that we haven't gotten any any information on yet so yeah and that first we'll trip or the the yeah the first trip that was what july 14th right Gosh, uh, that sounds about right, but I've lost track of time. Yeah, yeah, it was like mid July. Yeah, it was. It definitely was the middle of the month. Yeah, it was definitely after after Fourth of July. I know that for a fact. So, you know, we we're early August. We could maybe see one in August. I feel like if they are doing another trip in August, they need to kind of give us a little heads up. Yeah, for sure. rather than later, but. That would be, I guess that would be my biggest thing though, is just like a little bit of information. And like you're saying, Will, I think in what you're about to get into, maybe they're kind of like, she's sort of telling us in a roundabout way the length of time. And so did they, but I, I would love a little bit of concrete detail just because otherwise it's kind of like waiting for Christmas that takes a year, like waiting for like next year's Christmas, not 2022, like 2023 and like thinking what you want for a Christmas. That's, that's just like almost maddening. <laughs> yeah right uh so i mean here's another snippet from uh, a similar discussion about that um the mm. the question related to we're in a crypto winter it seems a little you know like what did y'all think about re releasing this in the middle of the crypto winter are people like needing some sort of like stimulant to keep going is that kind of like what they were thinking about but anyways this kind of gets turned around to be like we set it up to be in a good place uh, in the event that there was a crypto winter, that it would be in a good place moving out of crypto winter. So, I mean, if we get 2023, 2024 bull run, I mean, yeah, 
I, I could definitely see like other side hitting its, you know, peak in terms of like attention, just going parabolic on it um, within that time frame. It's funny though, because they also kind of talked about crypto winter in the other article with the guys. Cause even they said, we have this war chest. Basically they're not concerned. They're not paying attention to the crypto winter because it's not going to impact what they're doing. So I find that interesting because they both kind of touched on that matter, which I guess is good because it maybe puts people's mind at ease. To be honest, that was not anything I was concerned about. Cause I mean, if you've been paying attention at all, you know, the amount of funding and war and massive war chest that Yuga has, but it is interesting. This, this quote is good. That's a good find. Will. yeah, let me see. Definitely. I forget what the last one is. Oh, the last one was based around like, so what, it kind of gives a little bit of context as to like what's going to happen with the other side. Right. And I liked that this question was asked because it was like a, you go into, <clears throat> say you go into the other side for a concert and then you are then sitting there asking yourself like, now what do I do? Like, do you just log off and you go home? And so this bit at the end talking about there's multiple things, it's going to be a diverse world with different layers for different types of people. And then just kind of like thinking about that, there's going to be like gamification aspects to it that you can or cannot participate in, whether you want to or want or don't want to. And then there's the social aspect. And then there's, you know, maybe the performance aspect and the event aspect. And I mean, it definitely, <coughs> excuse me, definitely seems like there's a lot of things um, that maybe we haven't even fully seen behind the curtain on for what other side could bring in the future. That's what a metaverse is too, right? Like we, we're going to have multiple things to do interoperable. That's something that they've driven home as well, where you're going to have, and we've talked about this too, is like, you're going to have all these different NFT projects, brands. We're going to about to get into Gucci and Bryce's experience. Like, I mean, come on. It's like, there's so many things that are like too coincidental to be like lining up here. where like, you're going to have all these experience where maybe you can go into the digital Gucci store and you can pay an ape coin. And if you want the digital merch, great. The wearable, you could also get it in a physical. Like there's going to be this stuff and there's going to be shopping. There's going to be movies, concerts, games. Like I think, in my opinion, when it's done, basically whatever you can think and dream could potentially be something you could do on the other side. I think that's where they're going. Yeah, I agree. And I think that goes back to the, the quote we were just looking at where they're like, we've prepared ourselves to be coming out of crypto winter super yeah. strong. For sure, which is awesome. Again, not that we've been nervous, or at least I haven't been nervous. Uh, we obviously all are used to not getting a lot of information. So again, this much information today, and even with the information with the ApeCoin and Gucci yesterday, was that yesterday? Like that's just mm -hmm. a lot to handle for us. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa slow down. We only like information uh, once a quarter. Thank you. Yeah, right. Yeah, please slow down. Uh, we're not running out of time anytime soon. So here yeah, we go, I mean baby. What an interesting uh, tweet this was. I, I got to tell you, I'm quite annoyed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> at the typo? Yes. yes. No, not even at the oh. typo. I'm quite annoyed at myself because oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> if, if you know what I did, then you would know why I'm annoyed. I literally dumped oh. my entire bag of ape coin trying to get cute, uh, trying to accumulate more ape coin, actually. Um <laughs> I sold the pump. I woke up one morning, it pumped. I said, okay, I'm going to sell it this time because I was seeing like, you know, pretty hefty uh, fluctuations um, on the ape ETH ratio. Uh, and so I was like, you know what? I need to like capitalize on this a little bit. And so I sold a pump, it dumped. I couldn't get back to my wallet. And by the time I got back, uh, Gucci had tweeted this and we were on a rocket ship. Um, <laughs> against ETH. So that was, <laughs> that was not pleasant. Um, they deleted it and I was like, whoo, okay, we're dumping back down. Um, and then they retweeted it. Uh, with, the same retweeted type with the same typo. With the same typo. Shout out Gucci for the same typo. Uh, <laughs> that, that made me laugh so hard because like when we saw it, we're like, oh, oh that's why they took it down. There was a typo. And then it was the nope. same <laughs> freaking <laughs> typo. It was, it was, it's like they just sent it five, five minutes too early. They were like, wait a sec. What? You, you weren't supposed to do George, that. George, you're supposed to wait till the top of the hour, dude. Let, let know for sure. So I guess, uh, you know, obviously that's, that's massive. And, and, you know, we can kind of joke about it and, and it, there's a ton of memes and, and I even made some jokes on it, but the reality is when you have a massive brand, a massive clothing brand, 
uh, and high dollar coming in and kind of, well, this is definitely a partnership, right? You're not accepting ApeCoin if you think Yuga sucks or is going to bottom out. Like you're just not doing that. And especially, a, uh, you know, a company like Gucci that's been around for so long, they're not taking chances with brand. Like that's something that they just, they can't, they can't do. So um, we had that. And then obviously here uh, with, with Will pulled up, this is a, I, wa- I looked at these damn tag here because I'm like, dude, this watch is pretty damn cool. Um, is it cooler than an Apple watch? Yes. Is it that much more cool? I don't know for the price point, but then they had to, of course, make it available via ApeCoin. I mean, of course. So I wanted to talk about this, right? Because it wasn't like they just came out and said, okay, now we're going to accept ApeCoin too. I mean, it was basically, they were able to say we can accept ApeCoin because BitPay. Yeah as support for it right yeah so i wonder if like these brands were just waiting for apecoin to like become supported because i mean if they were already accepting eth or or bitcoin or you know other major cryptocurrencies um and and all they needed was bitpay to get their ducks in a row to put apecoin on the on there as well um i mean it, it makes sense why it why there was so much news around it because literally everyone that's already using BitPay could just come and harvest that engagement of, Hey, by the way, spend your eight point over here. So, I mean, still cool. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. So, so Bryce, how do you feel about spending 156? Yeah. I mean, you know, it took a lot of convincing. I'm not one to go out and buy expensive luxury items. So it, it definitely, what? Uh, yeah, right. 23. Sue me. Uh, so I spent a lot of, a lot of time in the morning, like thinking, you know, is this something I really want to do? Um, and kind of accepting that this is going to be the Bitcoin pizza scenario for our, you know, this 2022 year. I'm going to look back and be like, wow, this shirt's worth a hundred grand. And I did not plan on that. Um, and it has a ketchup stain on it. Yeah. It. <laughs> but yeah, it was super cool. I mean, when I, I walked into the store, they told me they were like, hey, because I, I was like, hey, I, I called ahead of time. Just want to make sure y'all are accepting crypto or ApeCoin as payments. And the lady looked at me kind of funny. And then she was like, well, yeah, yeah, we are. You're going to be like our first one. We've never had this happen yeah. before. And so like they kind of made a big deal. And of course, I'm walking in there with, my coin eyes and devil horns and a cardboard sign. And so all the security is kind of looking at me like, what is this kid doing? And I'm rocking out in ape fest shorts, ape fest shirt, or yeah, the ape fest shirt. And so, yeah, I mean, everybody was just looking at me like, you know, what is this kid doing with this sign? Like, do we need to kind of watch out for him? And uh, yeah, it was a super smooth process. They had like three or four sheets. Yeah, the security guard in the background. That's hilarious. He's definitely like this son of a gun. Way too young to be shopping, at <laughs> yeah. and posting, posing signs in front of it. But hey, man, you do but, you. But the experience was it smooth? Yeah, it was really smooth. They had a uh, kind of three sheets of paper that was like step one through nine that they kind of had to go through because they're not familiar with crypto pretty much at all. So like the lady here, she was asking me all sorts of questions. She's like, "So what is crypto?" and you know, all the little, you know, I don't understand it. What's an NFT, all this stuff. So I'm, it was kind of cool to be yeah, sure. you know, shopping at a luxury brand and then helping out this lady kind of onboarding right. her into crypto and showing her, oh yeah, look, I transferred money from, or ApeCoin from my MetaMask to Coinbase to BitPay and uh, kind of all within 10 minutes, like my money had just moved everywhere. And she was like, that's crazy. Cause you know, you go to a bank and it takes yeah. three to five business days. Um, but yeah, overall, really cool experience. It was really smooth. Um, I wasn't super familiar with BitPay and kind of navigating their platform. So I had initially just created like my own key in BitPay um, and then sent ApeCoin there. And for some reason, I was having a hard time at checkout. Uh, but I was able to just link my MetaMask account to BitPay and okay. send it through there. And it was two minutes done. That's a good point, though, is like this is so unlike traditional banking where you can just move money like that quickly at the ease of a button or two and maybe a a password or two, but it's like, I don't know, man. I feel like when people see that and when they can see that in action, maybe you don't even talk about the NFTs. You don't even necessarily talk about the blockchain, but you can show 
the ease of use and how you were able to move boom, boom, boom. And now I'm paying for this real physical item. I think those types of like experiences for like the normal person, I think that's how we get into the mainstream. Them seeing how easy it was, you know, that's not maybe an extra hoop to jump through, but it takes 10 seconds. It's not like it's any skin off your back. I think it's a great way to onboard people. Yeah. Unfortunately, this wasn't, I mean, it was a smooth process. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But because we were inside of a huge mall, service was terrible. So yeah, of was course. loading super slowly. Um, and so I ended up being there like an hour and a half or two hours just trying to check out, um, trying to try different options. And, you know, I sent Ape to Coinbase and then linked my Coinbase. And then when I tried to pay there, the only options were like ETH, Bitcoin, SHIB and, uh, you know, DAI, USDC. And there was no option for ApeCoin. So I was like, well, it looks like I can't do it off Coinbase. So then I linked Men MetaMask, et cetera. So First time, she's probably like, okay, yeah, crypto is not that easy. She's like, screw this crypto stuff. I'm going to go to the board tomorrow and tell them we don't need ApeCoin. So you gave it a good stress test, though. So, I mean. Yeah, good, good stress test. And I kind of told her what my issue was and how to do it. So right. if she ever has anybody in the future that's struggling, she can kind of be like, oh, just connect your MetaMask wallet. But, but so, Will, I, I kind of want to go back. If you want to just maybe talk a little bit about BitPay as a whole. Because I think your your like point on them making it uh, accessible with ApeCoin is what's opening all these other doors. I think that's a massive point that people are maybe even missing. They're seeing Gucci, they're seeing Tag here or whatever, and they're like, "Oh my god, that's so cool!" But like the tie there is BitPay, right? Is yes. that the key? Um, really? Th that was the key. It, it wasn't like the shop had to opt in, and well. Maybe they do, but I, my guess is is BitPay on the back end has similar something similar to like Coinbase Commerce, where you accept payment and then it gets added to some you know liquidity provider who's you know doing market making. Right. They'll just take the coins and and throw them into the market, and you won't even realize that you're essentially anytime <laughs> you're spending ape coin, you're essentially dumping it on the market. Yeah. But um, I mean. Do it only see? becomes an issue. It only becomes an issue if you have everyone rushing to buy a Gucci shirt, and then you suddenly have like a consistent feed of a thousand dollars being dumped on ApeCoin. Which, I mean, I, I don't know. The likelihood but, of that happening, I I would say, is slim. pretty slim. BitPay was the uh, the key there. So as soon as they toggled it, it was good to go. Um, I was going to throw up your picture of your your. Oh, yeah. the 10 ktf so that's that's the inspiration you have the 10 ktf um so you got the matching gucci shirt which is pretty sick yeah need to clarify to the All people right. which is by no means my favorite shirt i wasn't like oh my <laughs> no God, it I'm is gonna, it's, it's your, gonna, your favorite yeah. that's your favorite dude. Mine caught me but yeah <laughs> but, I was like you know love 10 ktf love yes. everything they're doing might as well get the same shirt as my apes so yes so but at the same time as all of the uh you know Gucci accepting ApeCoin announcement was coming out like a few days before we had the 10 KTF uh, Gucci Grail mission and we're airdropped some Gucci vault material. So, you know, Bryce, you could just go and uh, transfer that, sell your sell your Gucci cloth and uh, go recover your ape, which I mean, you got options. But essentially, it's kind of kind of cool to see that this is hovering a right around a thousand dollars which is like the entry point to anything gucci it seemed that was from a cloth yeah makes sense though right because you see that limited edition physical so like when i saw that i, I honest to god i wish i would have pulled the trigger for faster because like within the first six to even not even shorter than that three to six hours they were going for like point three dude and i should i should have just freaking loaded because Again, my my brain's telling me, man, this is going to be something that you can turn it, you can burn it for something, obviously, in the physical world. And maybe it's a you get a metaverse wearable and you get it in the physical realm. Like there's just right. too many connections yeah. here. So definitely. Right. I mean, part of that is the three of us are, were not previously Gucci customers apart <laughs> from the Gucci Grail uh, 10KTF mint pass drop. Right. So. Um, I, I honestly, I had no idea how much Gucci shirts were or sunglasses. I didn't either, box. dude. I'm going to be completely pads. honest. That shit just goes way over my head most of the time. But once 
once I saw that the shirt was about a thousand bucks and then I came back and checked that, you know, the floor on the cloth was about a thousand bucks. I was like, okay, it, it makes sense. Yep. There, there's at least some kind of reasoning you could go out and say, Hey, instead of buying that Gucci shirt in the store today, I'm going to go online, buy this Gucci cloth and have something a little more custom uh, in the future. So, you know, the funny thing was, is there was a lot of people dunking on Bryce for uh, spending ape coin saying it was yeah. foolish and whatever. But at the same time, we've seen the cloth yeah. cl climb in price. Also, yeah. I mean, other people are buying Gucci at, at that price point. So it's not like it's, you know, anyways, I, and to also me, it's at like, the same time, go if ahead. You, Bryce. Uh, read the tweet. It was for the culture. Well, yeah. Yeah. Of course. Like, some of this is obviously because we love Yuga, we love the ecosystem, and it really is about the experience. The other thing I think about is, yeah, am I am I probably going in and spending a thousand dollars on a shirt USD from that I just worked my ass off teaching? Probably not. But that ape coin that they dr dumped on my head because I have two apes, mutant and a dog. Okay, you know what? I'll I'll spend a thousand dollars. Like why not? Like that's dope. You get to experience it. You get a shirt that's a shirt I would never buy otherwise. Like, I think, I don't know. I think that's cool. Uh, Bryce and I were talking about this earlier today. Um, just the fact that even if you were a mutant. You yeah, you could go and buy 13 shirts. You, you could, could buy 13 Gucci shirts just for having a mutant. Yeah. And that's you could crazy. go and return them the next day and probably get, you know, 13k returned to you in some other form of I, I don't know the fact that it was like ape coin being used in real life at a store like it it's just like a colliding of worlds where it's yes. like cool these people are like accepting crypto and and they can accept ape coin and ape coin's just this silly token that was airdropped to me you know for holding these monkeys and then I, I don't know it's just like it's kind of when you step back and you look at it like, of course, the shirt, $1,000, ridiculous, crazy. But at the same time, like, everything that we've experienced for the last year and a half or so is just crazy times a million. So I, I don't know. Luxury brands getting into the space. I just want to go back to that. It's a luxury brands not even just dipping their toe in. And this is a great transition to Tiffany and Co. But it's like they're they're kind of diving in, dude. Like, they're saying, like, and Gucci had already had this, you know, partnership with uh, 10KTF, which is Obviously, we love that, but this is even more. They're they're doubling down. They're saying we believe in these projects because, again, if they didn't, they wouldn't do that. They just wouldn't. They would not align this big ass luxury brand where you buy a thousand dollar shirts. They're not aligning that with something they think is shit. So uh, let's talk Tiffany and Co. Because this is another massively and you know impactful luxury brand saying, "Hey, let's do this thing." Another like again a massive announcement this week, right? I'm I'm big. Right, thirty ETH at two hundred. Oh yeah. I mean, they're they're definitely rolling up and saying we're not playing around. Agreed. But I think at the same time, like it is so limited. Like, if I had a punk, I probably had that thirty ETH too. If we're being honest, I probably both those things are probably true. I'm probably getting this. Like, I'm I'm like ninety five percent sure I'm gonna buy this, just because oh. I think it's such a limited collectible. At the end of the day, I don't want to like foil my plan in case if someone's digging through this, but like you can buy three of these things. And if you could, I mean, if you had the ETH to do it, buy three of them, sell two at 45, like hot right off yeah. the market in the hype, that would cover your, that would cover your third. And you could essentially, yeah. Get a free, get a free Tiffany pendant. I'm yeah. just saying. That I don't. I personally mind. do not have uh, the 90 ETH plus buying a punk. So what's that? 80, 170 ETH. So apparently. okay, hold on. We're just gonna degen out for a second. If you feel <laughs> super confident that the pro, like that you're gonna get a return, you can go borrow 32 yeah. and a half ETH against your board ape right now. So you got two. You could you could roll up with sixty five ETH, ready to just run and gun. Um, obviously, you know if shit goes sideways, <laughs> you, you've got your babies on the line there. Totally understandable where that would be um, degenerate of you to do that. But yo, I, my wheels are turning, bro. I'm like, oh, what could we do here? Could we make something happen? I don't know. 
Especially with like they did the whitelist and it was like a hundred of the spots are already taken, which is yeah, kinda, right. which is kind of like eh, don't love it. I guess I get it, but I think a hundred is it a hundred of them items? Yep. Yeah. So, so what's that mean? One hundred and fifty left? Is that the total is two fifty? Right. Yeah, one hundred and fifty left. I, I mean, when you think about it, people are saying, "Oh, it's ridiculous, fifty k, whatever for this." pendant and yada 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 it's like the first punk's physical piece you know it's like the equivalent in my mind of like you bought a fidenza and had the printed version the official printed version hanging up on your wall yeah right like yep i i don't know i i think the fact that there's only 250 I think that's the key. All the big names already have one. So, I mean, I don't know. Not, not that it's, not that it's uh, justified, uh, whatever. But, I, I, I mean, if you can I think it, it is, this though. is a cool piece to own. I agree. For sure. Agreed. Agreed completely. And again, of course, it's going to be expensive. It's got Tiffany's name on it. That's the, I mean, that's the key. I saw a lot of people saying, you know, you can get a customized this, that, and the other for half the price or a, fifth of the price. And what I wanted to say is that's probably true, but it doesn't have Tiffany's name behind it. And that's, I mean, the fact of the matter is that carries a lot of weight. Yeah. So are y'all thinking gas war? Or? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so. That's What's the activity? Like, have any, for any been sold? sold? No. So this is the first one that's been listed for 55. Okay. Which huh. 37 views, I guess it's not being like Hawkeye. Uh, 31 I mean, minutes ago. So 55 is a lot over. Like, I, I don't know. So that's where I'm like, yeah. I mean. But if you, like you said, if you, if you could get three. And even if, like, let's say even if you did it for 40 or something. 40. And three, then pay 10 ETH for one. That's what I mean. Know. Like, that's a little bit. That's kind of crazy, actually. I mean, we, okay. So hypothetical. That's the real question. What punk would you put exactly on? hypothetical? Hypothetical. You did that move. You you pulled three. You were able to get one for ten ETH or free or whatever. Would you switch one of your board apes for a punk to get the pendant? Hmm. I don't know. Because then the pendant's got to be one I love, right? So I feel like it may. There's so many like. I don't know, like little stipulations here because like, I don't want a pendant of one I think is bogus and like no hate to the punks, but a lot of the floor ones suck. Yeah. So, um, I heard some, some big hate. If you get one, that's a dildo head or an ass eater, <laughs> goodness, then you're pretty much going to get hate on the internet. I think, I think D's five was saying that, but, um, <laughs> that one at the bottom left did the purple clown nose. Uh, oh, this one? Purple, I mean, that would just look god awful on a pendant. And there's Ooh, some like that are cool, really red. <laughs> it's just hard. It's hard for me because there's a lot that I don't love. Mm -hmm. Um, and so like then, then you're looking at what's the price point that you're feeling good about it. You know, I agree I don't, I don't hate it. I like I, I I understand. I'm right there with you, and it makes a lot of sense. Um, if you could if you could pull it off, that's the key, right? See, so my issue is is like my my comfortable one would be like 95 where i'd be like i could get a pendant of that but then it's like oh uh, i don't want to tell my secrets too much either but this is the guy i really like yeah i don't know what it is about him he it's it's the fact that he, he's red hair sunglasses handlebar mustache like he's just like a a funky ass looking dude and i'm just like that's the one i would probably get so you only need 140th my dog 104. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to hey, mint, no, <laughs> mint all these NFTs, <laughs> flip, <laughs> flip them all, and then ball out with a punk. So, you know, if it happens, it'll happen. But uh, it's definitely interesting, though. And again, a big, like you said, this is massive. These are massive things happening all within 48, 48 hours a week, at least. Indeed. So, moving on. Yes, sir. Do we, do we think... Tiffany's is going to eventually do some sort of something else. Like they just made 12 and a half million. Are they going to just like call it quits and be like, cool. Thanks punks. Um, Are they gonna I think no shot. I mean, surely. Well, 
Maybe, you know, I think it might I be a wild. What do you think, Cole? I could see board eight, but like I don't know, man. Like, but I'm gonna be. I go honest. back and forth. Like, I could see them just saying we're only doing this for crypto punks too. I'm gonna be honest though. I don't know if a pendant like that. I agree. Punk would work with apes. I agree. Like, it, it, would, it would have to be a different type. Real of good with uh, punks. Yep. No, I agree completely. I think I think the punks are perfect because they have obviously have the pixelated image. It just plays perfect for the for the style yeah, of that yeah. pendant for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's just there's just too much detail, which is a, a blessing for apes because people took to them a lot more because there is a little more to grasp onto. But like, you're you're not going to get that smoke on a pendant. No. You know I'm saying like, is it's, there? Smoke it's breaking on? off instantly. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah. So, it, but it's a straight line, right? So like, this one I would like to see. How does this get? Are are you blank spacing this, or is it just going to stick up awkwardly? Like, that would make for a weird pendant. Um, the other one that I thought is kind of funny is like, is this one going to be like super off balance or is it just going to be super big? You know, like, yeah, hmm. I because don't know. the one, see. the one that Deepak had showed that's his, um, alien punk obviously is like super clean with the bandana. Everything's so tight. It looks amazing. And it, it'll be interesting. Cause again, you do have variety. So I guess it depends like who gets it right. Like who, <laughs> what punk do you have? Let's see what we've got. Well, okay. It's going to be hoodies. Apparently, I can't um, navigate their website. But I was going to say the hoodie one seems like it would be pretty balanced, right? Like it's it's the most circular one. So I, gee, I don't know. And there's definitely going to be uh, some hoodies made. Like those are obviously people that have some deep pockets. And I would be really shocked if we don't see a number of them. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the other thing, too. If you have a high-end ape... Uh, punk or or an ape punk yeah um i mean i feel like you're just missing out not not getting the uh the pendant on on that high end piece i mean it would be like everyone with a gold ape running and saying yep i'm getting whatever i can get with my gold ape like right. it's, it's like a no-brainer for yeah. like value right. add for your nft agreed um, so the four of apes what do we think God. It's been relatively stable, I would say. It's gone on a little bit, but it's been, for the most part, relatively stable. It hasn't, considering we really haven't got a lot of news, I'm not surprised. Like, there hasn't been anything that people are just, like, beating their chest and eating all kinds of bananas for. But um, I don't know. Like, it's, it's stayed right around 85. That's what I'll say. Like, it's been at 85 for a while now. Agreed. And the uh, the want want to sell ape channel has, you know, it's yeah. been it's been active. There's people that are in there trying to uh, to move some stuff around and whatever. OK, so this is interesting. Um, do you know the NFT Prez guy? PR yes, yes, I do. Uh, he kind of like shit on apes for a minute and said, yeah. I'm going full punks. Um, now he's back in the want to want uh, the want to sell ape channel saying he's buying ape. I know. Ape. I, I actually almost DM'd him because I have like I've talked to him a couple times, and I wanted I don't know if he would say anything really, but I wanted to be like, okay, can we? I don't know, get some clarity here because I've been watching him kind of like a hawk to be honest with you because he was such a massive ape maxi to then like shit on them, and I think it was for fucking ape fest or something. Like it was something kind of dumb. Them. He was like, oh, yeah, one of those, like, I don't vibe with those that crowd or whatever. Which yeah, that's I right. Get, right? Like, it makes sense. If you're going to join a social club, join the one you vibe with. But continue with what you're saying. No, you're good. I just, I think it'll be interesting to see, you know, does he, I think he said he has six apes now. Um, depends on, I guess, where he ends up. But definitely, I've been in the want to sell channel, seeing if I can make some trades. And I've been sending some of those to Will and Bryce. And, and at the end of the day, it's just so hard. It's so hard. You have to have somebody fall in love with whatever you've got mm -hmm. um, to make it make sense. Otherwise, like, and you guys said it and I agree. It was like adding a substantial. And when I say substantial, I'm talking, you know, 10 to 30 ETH on top. Just as hard for me to be like, yeah, that makes sense because of everything happening with ETH specifically. Dude, exactly. With merge right around the corner, I just, I find it hard to justify. Yeah. So you'd have to have somebody that you know, just wants to get off whatever ape they have. And, and, you know, maybe there's a trade where you have some other asset that's smaller value that you throw in there. But I just, 
at the end of the day, I can't be like, yeah, I'm going to throw 20 ETH on top of this to get. I mean, I love that pink ape that I shared with you guys. Mm -hmm. But like at the end of the day, it's like, ah, I just can't do it. It's a lot, a lot to ask. But again, I think I think we're in a good spot considering there hasn't been really much of anything. Um, obviously, the bullish news of being able to use ApeCoin and all of those things are great. But like if we're just being honest and I said this, I tweeted this last night. I'm ready for roadmap 2.0 to start going a little bit like yep. uh, get, give me something give me give me that give me of yeah. 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 anything at this point i think would make things go a little bit wild so we, this this are the prints oh yeah all I, over I, roadmap 2.0 and i know you guys are just like uber bullish on dogs i'm kind of right in the middle if i'm being honest with you um at, at 80th i'm on the edge okay mm -hmm. i'm not maybe like seven six and a half like yeah he's easy buy um have they know. run up a bunch today has there been a lot of sales today no no we pushed eight uh this weekend yeah um okay. there was quite a few people that that pulled into them i mean so there was that pump on them previously when they were just incredibly undervalued the eight floor was 100 or so uh mutants were at like 20 or so and dogs were at like six and a half so they they were just way undervalued they had kind of like a momentum FOMO pump. Yeah. Um, people kind of like were throwing around, oh, there must be news. Um, turns out there was no news. So it was really just people kind of FOMOing in. And they probably had, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Insider all, trading, bro. Yeah, insider trading, sure. Uh huh. <laughs> they dumped right back down to six and a half, which is hilarious. Um, but they pushed nine, I think, the first time. So. Any sort of news about trial of Jimmy the monkey, uh, dogs are running. It, it's just, it's going to happen. Do you think mutants do as well? Or do you feel like they're in a dogs for sure? Because there's the paw prints on the roadmap, right? right under trial. Um, but I don't know. So, I mean, I wanted to talk about that. Mutants 16.80. I mean, how do we feel about that? Is that, does it feel like it's the right amount? Does it feel like it's under, uh, oh, I mean, oversold? Or are we kind of just in the like equilibrium it's fair, with, with, with apes right now? I mean. I think it's kind of hard to say because with mutants, we really don't know what's next, right? I mean, all we have is the their monetization plan. Is that a game? No, 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 that's 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 dogs and apes, right? Dogs have monetization plan, right? So there's no mention of mutants on roadmap 2.0. I mean, unless if Mecha Apes includes all apes, but like, so what is Mecha Apes? Is it going to be another dilutive drop? Is it going to be a wrapper? Is it going to be a? I mean, it could be a number of things, right? Yep. Um, I think this floor is fair. Currently, I think. Yeah, like it's still 17. a pretty good ratio to ape. What is that? Because we're at like 82-ish. One to a 4.88. So like yeah. about a one in five, which is pretty consistent with. I mean, if you were going to do straight value buy, I would. The way I would play it is I would grab a bunch of dogs, run them up into the pump. Which not not so many dogs, but just enough, you know, like the sweet spot of like chef's kisses that's the right amount um is how many you should buy and then funnel all of that into uh mutants um because i feel like if you're gonna value buy something from an eight perspective mutant floor mutants is like probably the heart highest roi uh in terms of like buying an ape mm -hmm. unless if you have the money to ball out and get a grail so that's yeah. a you know that's a grail yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. The board ape, of course. But that's like a, I think that's an also an interesting conversation is like, and dilemma maybe is like, I'm not even talking grail, but would you rather a board ape? We'll just say floor. doesn't matter what it is or what five mutants. Like, what are you doing? So the trader in me says five. Four five mutants. Mutants. It's just, it's just an interesting dilemma because we, like, like you both said, it's like, we know so little that it's kind of, kind of like shooting completely blind at, at mm -hmm. the current state. But again, I think it goes back to what we said in a previous video. There's never been a bad time to buy Yuga. So yeah. I think regardless whether you're buying a dog, a mutant, an ape, I think 
give it a year, give it a couple months even, and you'll be really happy you did. Right. Right. That's the current sentiment on a lot of projects, right? I mean, uh, we've talked about this, Bryce, with Moonbirds. It's like, you know, a $33,000 entry into the Moonbirds ecosystem seems like you're going to be able to get that amount of value, especially in the midst of a bull run. If they do any sort of token drop, they do any sort of like expanding their ecosystem, uh, yeah, right, right. kind of like how Mutants was, the, the OG collection has uh, some sort of FOMO pump. Um, so the ones that I'm like concerned about are like doodles. Mm. You dropped duplicators, you dropped a Genesis box and sold them all to your holders. And now they're holding them underwater in terms of ETH. So it's like, I'm most concerned with pixel vault. <laughs> <laughs> That's the set it and forget it. I, 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 so funny story. I actually lost my comic. It, it Huh? I lost it. That's what I'm telling myself. I, I don't know, man. I just lost it. It doesn't exist in my portfolio. Weird. Interesting. Hmm. Because I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm just not going to touch it. Like, I just, man, that's a hard one for me. And I don't, I'm not going to shit on anybody, but I, I, we've talked about this as well. It's like, I think it's going to be really hard for a lot of projects when I'm talking like a year, two years, three years from now. Like I, that's a long time to like sustain a floor in a business. Like you're going to see a lot of these, you're going to see some projects that you don't think will fail that will fail. And so it's like, I don't know. It's just like hopefully guessing which one is and believing in the right one. Dude, this like the metal heroes, aren't they underneath dude? This is ridiculous in my opinion. Yes. Like just... the fact that I was suckered in because of Beanie to end up buying the man, in this space, you got to be prepared to uh, take some L's um, as learning experiences because holy smokes, if you get defeated off of like one L, that's the other thing too. Like, don't, I mean, don't go too crazy because. Uh... <laughs> well, yeah, that was like me about a year ago. I had dropped 6.7 ETH on my MetaHero and it instantly, I mean, I, lived, I bought the top. And then it was just straight downhill from there. And that was about half my ETH stack at the time. So I, I mean, would, you could have straight just sunk your battleship if you didn't back. have at least a little bit of a buffer there. So mm -hmm. that's yeah. just tough. That's just tough. So it's like, you know, I, I hope they do well. I love, you know, their artist is, is high quality and, and I think they have a good plan, but it's kind of like at some point delivery, right? Like actual yeah. deliverables. I don't know. I agree. I mean, it seems like they've made some good partnerships and they'll deliver on stuff over a period of time. But like, uh, you know, they're, they've lost core community members, which in an early stage is like super important, right? right. Like if Bored Apes didn't have such a strong core, you know, we wouldn't be where we're at with apes. Um, and we could easily have been a meta hero situation if people just didn't rally behind them 2.6k owners there and how many i mean and, and a lot of those people own both a or maybe not a lot but a handful own a, a, a mint pass and a generative identity um 2.9k there so you've got some overlap so i mean you don't have just a bajillion holders in the meta hero ecosystem or the yeah, pixel vault not, not a whole lot right like i get what what's the pixel vault planets or something like that oh god you don't want to look at those <laughs> i think those are like god, those like way 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 down i don't know but then what was the other nonsense they did recently with the uh the pods like, what, I don't, what I don't, yeah, right. like pods. I'm like, dude, that's where it's one of those. It's yeah. Pixel Vault quickly became too much for me to follow along with, you know, I was doing good up until a certain point and then they released the planets and then all the other nonsense. And now these pods and the other comic. And now I'm just like, all right, this is just too much to follow and it's not going up in value. So, and but it's, hey, it's, 
Dude, they still did 85.4 in volume. Anywho, what I was going to say is 10 <laughs> That's like, actually it, pathetic. That is. Uh, people say 10K TF is hard to follow. And I'm like, I scoff at that when I think of Pixel Vault. I'm like, Pixel Vault is the most crazy ass, like, let's put 73, like, push pins in and, and fucking put the yarn between all of them to figure out where we're headed. Dude, it was so funny. During NFT NYC, I'm not going to name names, but somebody was literally telling me that 10K TF sucked because they couldn't follow along with it. And they were like, and I was saying, oh, well, that's how I feel about Pixel Vault. And he's like, dude, Pixel Vault's great, you know, VC. <laughs> and I was like, bro, what? How is that the same? <laughs> like, what? How can you think those two things? Yeah, um, very confused. So, but anyways, though, with 10K TF, like the concept is simple. You put PFP on a product. Wait, explain that again? You put your PFP mm -hmm. on a product. Yes. Right. Okay. So, like, so, I mean, it, it's not that difficult to follow along. I think the thing that throws people off, which, I mean, I like, I was sitting there on the mint page with an empty wallet with barely any ETH, and I had to choose to spend either the last remains of my ETH on uh, 10K TF or just hold on to my scraps at the time. And unfortunately, I, I needed to hold on to my scraps. So I did not mint the Genesis uh, pieces. And then I kind of just veered away from 10K TF from a while, for a while. And then it wasn't until recently recently when I got back into 10K TF. But like, I did need a refresher. Like I, I, I hit up a couple people on Twitter and was like, yo, can you like point me in the right direction? Like, what are we looking for? What do I need? What, is, what are the few key things? So to quickly brief, uh, like summarize that. Um, you got Battletown, you're doing missions, right? You're sending your items that have uh, your PFP on them and they have different points of values assigned to them. So hats are lower than shoes. Shoes are the highest, um, you know, but then looking really into the actual collection itself, the property over here, you got Genesis, which is like all of the OG collection, um, and there's bonuses for having Genesis. And then you've got different rarities of things um, yeah. you crafted and got lucky and got an epic or a rare or a whatever. And if you, correct me if I'm wrong, but if in Battletown, if you have a full slate of epics, you have an extra multiplier there? Or is it just one epic gives you a multiplier? Uh, it's stuff. kind of based on all of them. But yeah, there is a full set multiplier. I just, I wish I had so much more and it was so attainable for the longest of times. And I even sold a freaking board ape day pack Genesis for like, I don't know, 0. 0.3. I don't, I don't even know. It wasn't much. And I'm like, God bless America. Yes. Cause I just, I wish I had all of it. I wish I had those tools, the thimble and shit. Cause you get extra token for every time you stake those bitches. Like I've thought about getting them too. Yeah, this was the one I, I didn't quite follow along. I didn't understand where these, like I knew, okay, you could stake it for rewards. But whenever I dove in, I didn't pick these up right away because I didn't quite understand uh, the extent of like what was going on. But after you go through a few missions and you kind of get the vibe of like what's going on and it's like kind of like a weekly participation thing, yep. uh, at least right now it is, Um I don't know. I, I've enjoyed my experience uh, so far. Um, Definitely yeah. agree. Definitely agree. Same here. It, I mean, it helped, my first right? exposure I mean, was spending an ETH on Gucci Grill, and just from completing missions, they've given me that Gucci yeah. material and another super clean cloth. So, yeah, and the Gucci Grill floor and overall is up. So, so far, ten k dub, a big fat dub, dude, a big fat dub, and they're gonna have oh, the yeah. token drop. I think actually this week or tomorrow. Next. Actually, it might be actually. Actually, I think it is. So, tell some level up. Do you have any speculation on what that is? Because uh, no, they, they talked about this badge was like, now you can finally... Dude, tomorrow could be massive, potentially. Yeah, okay, look. All right, let, let's go ready. Uh, let's get ready to level up. Oh. They were like, now that you have this yeah. badge, you can level up. So, like, huh. I mean, I, I don't know. A lot of this stuff was just talking about... Sorry, I'm clicking around too much here, but... Aren't, aren't some of these showing like level one tools or level whatever? I, am I making this up? Yeah, level one tool. 
Hmm. Do some of the uh, pieces in the collection? Yeah, say they probably do. do. I bet. Yeah, they do. Yeah, level so that's material. a level one material. Like, so you can up your materials. Oh, I don't know, man. That's interesting. I, I mean, this is these are little things. Like, I had never really put much thought into this, but like, you know, I don't know. Honestly, I might go in and just sweep up some some materials because uh, if these are things you need to level up. Yeah, because maybe yeah, you know. You get like an epic version of it if you level it up or some shit. Yeah, I don't know. Physical material. So this yeah. Physical. Yeah. Right. It might be. Oh, you get tokens or right yeah, tokens. You got to spend it to level it up. And who knows? So, It'll be interesting. Do you think the token drop was only for people that were in the snapshot, or like? I mean, I joined pretty recently, so like, could I potentially have token coming for holding a Gucci Grail or token coming for holding a Genesis item? I think it's probably every like the missions. I think you were getting token as well. It's just you couldn't see that sometimes. I think there was something. This is a guess, by the way, but I think you were getting some token because I could go in at one point and I could see it was like you're set for two thousand nine hundred and seventy four or something. Yeah, hit hit mission complete. So you can also see at the bottom kind of it says a thousand two hundred and okay. Wait, oh yeah, back. that's the no, power. that's like total power. The, who? Where is it where you see the dashboard? Claim rewards. Oh, here is yeah, it yeah. like is this like my multiplier towards some token? Maybe, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, wait, wait. Snapshot a second. was this there. A snapshot there. Yep. I, I'm I'm bummed. I missed out on these. That you know. But you got that 230 bangers every time, my guy. Just rings. no. I, I wish I. I definitely wish I had bought some more uh, during the midst of that bear market. That that was one of the things. Like when ETH was at a thousand bucks, I was buying ten KTF stuff. I was like, uh, you know what? It's a cheap enough entry that it seemed like a good move. So so far, pr been pretty good. Um, we definitely love it. We definitely love it. Let's do a quick, real quick, just like kind of overall. I don't know, like uh, how we're feeling about other side specifically, and kind of things to look forward to. Obviously, like we we kind of knew this was going to be a ways out. And the floor is obviously dipped. And again, that's like no one should be surprised. It's the NFT space with a bunch of DGENs. So it's like, what did you think was going to happen? You think they're going to run these bitches up if there wasn't anything like tangible? So what's our overall quick like if you had to give me a 30 second snippet of how you feel about other side deeds owning more or less of them? What would you say? Uh, I, I mean, leading into other side and and on the tail end of other side, I was kind of like offloading any of the deeds that I bought pre reveal for an extreme price. Um, I basically just tried to, to get out of those just to harvest tax losses. I think over a period of time, we will continue to see the floor just kind of trickle down a little bit. Um, we'll get pumps obviously around artifact decoupling uh, trip, which will happen, you know, we still got a, a couple of things that we got to check off before we can kind of get into that mental state of like decoupling's around the corner, like get ready. Um, I think we'll see some, some price explore, uh, exploration on artifacts then. Um, but no, I, I think 2.2 is fair. I think uh, people are, you know, it's a great time to start accumulating. Obviously I wouldn't say like, Oh, 2.2, like all in today, but like it seems fair. I, yeah, I would definitely say keep your eye out uh, for deals, right? You might see some artifacts go for cheaper, uh, just as people maybe get a little antsy with the you know merge coming out in a month and a half. Um, but yeah, definitely probably prime, you know, hunting season. You know, just keeping your eye open. Maybe not pulling the trigger quite yet, but being ready to pull the trigger. I just like this that you just pulled up though. That's ridiculous to me. Point two above the floor, you could literally get, you know, four. That's mutant land point two above the floor, you know? So like things that I would be looking for, but um, I think you can wait longer. That's the saddest part. Like people are too Bryce. You're saying they're impatient. That's right. Like they, there's so many people that will not wait. They want to mint the next bullshit ass NFT. That'll go to zero in like two weeks. So like the reality is I think you're going to see it lower. So here's the other thing, right? If if artifact floor, which oh my goodness, this should not be on the floor. This is a uh, one of like four hundred or so. Go buy it. 
Uh, it just, I mean, well, yeah, it, the floor is closing in quicker than than you'd like to see. But I mean, you know, there will be a time when it's like, yeah, start accumulating these because they're they're just way too low. Yeah, I, I just wonder what that price point is, though. Like the more I like sit here and think, like, is did it ever make sense to pay? And I did this myself, so I'm not I'm not saying like you guys are idiots. I'm a genius. But like, did it ever make sense to buy land for like three to five to six ETH? I don't know. Well, uh, I'm not the person to ask because I bought it for like 80 pre-reveal. Okay, 80 on Coda hunting, but uh, <laughs> no, no. I mean, in, in retrospect, that that was hype. You know, the again, it's so hard to get out of the mental state. But like, the second you get a board ape yacht club airdrop, you need to sell the dang thing. Mm-hmm. Because you know. We could have walked away selling lands at forty ETH. at fifty ETH a pop, right? Okay. Just thank you. I'll see you in a few months, right? Like, and you could probably just reacquire your same land. But then you would have kicked yourself in the nutsack, would you? If you would have got the fucking if yeah, you yeah, 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 Mega yeah. Coda, I'd be like, I hate my life. <laughs> so, but I guess you never look. That's the key. If you ever yeah. sell pre-revealed, don't look. You no, look. No, no. Um, the thing I was going to say though, there is, I, I mean, I've got the, the, uh, land for my ape for my, you know, and the dog that matches the same ID. And I'm like, yo, I want to keep that together. Right. Yeah. So anyway, I agree. I agree. I want to keep my land that my, uh, PFP and my doggy, uh, will be living. I definitely don't want to give that up. And one of them I had was like an island. Now, who knows what that if that even matters, but I'm like, please let it be an actual island. That would be so freaking dope by myself, but <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, definitely an awesome conversation. Obviously, a ton to talk about. We went just over an hour, but I think it was just like quality talk and, and some speculation and just overall sentiment. I would say that we're always like, we're always, at least the three of us, we're very bullish on Yuga. We're very bullish on NFTs long term. You got to zoom out a lot. I think too many people are zoomed in so, so tight that they're thinking in hours and minutes rather than, you know, days, weeks, months, years. And I know that's hard. It's a hard mentality, but uh, kind of like Will was joking about, it's like set it and forget it. Like, I think some of these things, I think that is the play. If you believe in the team, if you believe in the vision, uh, I think that will, uh, it'll benef benefit you in the long term to just kind of sit and hold. And, and believe me, I'm an anxious person. I don't have a lot of patience. You guys teaching me patience more than anything in my life. Yeah, definitely. The truth. Good conversation with y'all. Yeah, definitely. Enjoy. Definitely. Uh, again, if you haven't yet, make sure you follow us on Twitter, follow us on Twitch, YouTube. You might be watching us on either of those. Um, subscribe, like, share comments with us. If you want to see somebody interviewed, we're going to have interviews here coming up next week. We've got a couple of very dope people that will be coming through, including but not limited to Meta Mori with his amazing uh, AR, whatever filter thing, VR. I don't know what you call it as an ape. And as a cat and as every other thing he has, uh, pizza later to come through and drop some knowledge along with a bunch of other people um, that we've got lined up. So definitely exciting. Good to talk to you guys as always. Until next time, this was Board TV. We out. Peace.